Hi, welcome to the Hyper Chef. Today we're going to make vodka pasta. So the vodka sauce is very simple. I cut a few steps here to save some time. You didn't need to watch me do a thing. I put a little bit of olive oil in the pan and I have diced up one smallish onion, fine. You do not want to do it in the food presser because it gives up too much juice. I know it comes out really fine that way, but the whole sauce will have an oniony flavor. If you're going to do it in the food presser, you have to rinse it afterwards in a fine mesh, mesh sieve type of uh, strainer. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little kosher salt to the onions. I learned this recipe from my friend Dave. He learned it when he was living in Rome. It's uh, quick, it's easy, it's wonderful. Now, oregano, I very rarely use oregano. So this is one of the few dishes where I use oregano. And when you put that in with the salt and the onion, the smell is amazing. So we're gonna let that cook down. When that cooks down, what we're gonna then add to this is we're going to add strained tomatoes, and then we're gonna do three shots of vodka separated, as well as uh, heavy cream. I'm not making pasta tonight. Uh, I have no takers for it. I'm actually bringing this by a friend's tomorrow who's not feeling well. So what, I'm, what I was gonna tell you is this sauce will not be complete. When I make this sauce, at the finishing touch at the very end when it's all done, is one ladle of the starchy pasta water before I drain the pasta. So just remember, I'm not showing you that step, at the end you'll put a ladle of, of the pasta water in. Okay, that's cooked down. We're now gonna add the strained tomatoes. And I keep the lid nearby because this is a messy dish that the tomato flies all over while you're making it. All right, so we just put that in. We're gonna incorporate that. It will eventually incorporate, trust me. All right, we're gonna bring the temperature up and we're gonna let that come back to a boil. And I'll show you why. All right. Now, you have one portion of tomato. So tomatoes are a fruit, you need some salt. So about a tablespoon of kosher salt goes in there. I'm gonna stir that in. You're gonna see, you can already hear it's already coming up to a boil or a, a, like a sizzle. This is so fast, this sauce, that you can start this sauce after the water is boiling for the pasta. That's how amazingly fast it is. All right, we're gonna give that another couple seconds. Now, what can you do with vodka sauce? Um, I personally like to put it over rotini or any kind of a fusilli or curled small pasta or a penne. And when I fix it in the plate, I always put some shredded mozzarella on top as opposed to grigio. See, see how fast it came up and see the mess it makes? That's hot and bubbling. So we're going to add two shots of vodka. One and two. All right. Now you can already smell that. So you don't have it a holy mess. I put the lid on until that burns off. When that burns off, then I will add heavy cream and then I will add another shot of vodka. And that basically is the sauce. Like I said, the only thing that's gonna be missing is you're gonna put the starchy water in, one ladle full of starchy water at the end from the pasta before you drain it. This sauce is so fast that I do this sauce after I drop the pasta sometimes. That's how quick it goes. Okay, we're back. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some hot sauce before I add the heavy cream in. It just gives the pasta sauce just a little kick. We're gonna see it's making a holy mess all over the stove. All right, I incorporated that in. Now we're gonna add the heavy cream. People think, oh, I can't have vodka pasta. It's a, it's a lot of cream. That's all it is. I mean, if that's two tablespoons, it'd be a miracle. And all you're doing is you're stirring it to incorporate the color. And you're gonna see you end up with like this pinky, pinky color. We're just gonna incorporate it. As always, I'm a very messy cook, which is why I'll clean up before my wife gets home. All right, now that's hot and bubbling. We're gonna add one more shot of vodka and the sauce is done. All right, so I'm gonna put that shot of vodka in like that. And I'm just gonna let that finish on top of the stove with the lid on. That's vodka pasta. Then all you have to do, like I said, when you finish cooking the pasta, is you're going to put in a, star, a ladle of the starchy pasta water right in there and your sauce is perfect. And I would serve it over the pasta with a little shredded mozzarella. And as we like to say here on the Hyper Chef, manja con buen gusto.